Good morning. I am just guessing that a fair number of people stayed up late watching football last night. <laughs> it's a little bit on the small side here. Luckily, my team was done by 8 o'clock. Those of you who are visiting, you're so welcome to join us here at this table. And as you can tell, we have a very family atmosphere around here. People get excited to see each other once a week or more. But yep, that's just the way it is here. And once again, you got some prayer intention on your heart today. Please take time to share that with the people that are around you so that we can, as a family, all pray together. And at this time, Please rise, introduce yourself to the people around you, and we'll begin Mass shortly. And now, will you please join us in singing as we begin this celebration. Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pause to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, by your name we are saved. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ.
Christ Jesus. By your strength, we are bolstered. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your grace, we are sustained. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O God, creator and ruler of all things, that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord opened my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face did I not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I'm not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near, who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of I 
A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to him, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. According to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah. Still others, one of the prophets. And then, and he asked them, But who do you say that I am? 
Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. But who do you say that I am? My dear brothers and sisters, in reality, who is Jesus for us? Who is Jesus for you? His person comes to us through many centuries of images and formulas and dogmas, theological long explanations, and cultural interpretations that at times reveal and conceal his mystery. To answer Jesus' question, we could turn and be scholars and check what the councils have said and listen to the magisterium and try to give a seminarian answer to the question. We can read reflections of big theologians. We could repeat what others have said. Um, but I think Jesus is looking for a personal response today. A more personal and committed response. Who do you say that I am? Sometimes we quickly affirm that Jesus is God. But then we do not know what to do with his divinity. Do we love Jesus above all things? Or our heart is too busy with other things, with other gods which we seek. Security, well-being, prestige. What is the point of confessing Jesus' divinity if later on he means little to us in our daily lives. We also say that Jesus is Lord. But is he the one that directs my life? You know, sometimes we kneel by as we pass the tabernacle. Or we genuflect. But do we surrender to Jesus? Honestly, what is the point of calling him Lord, Lord? 
if we don't care much about doing His will. Other times we confess that Jesus is the Christ. Christ from Greek, that means Messiah in Hebrew. That means the one that was saved, sent by God to save humanity. But do we build a more human world? As we call ourselves Christians, do we sow freedom, dignity, and hope? to everyone on earth? If we thought Jesus' question was hard, I'm giving you like a hundred more questions to reflect on. At times we proclaim that Jesus is the Word of God incarnate. That is, God speaking to us in flesh, in the gestures, in the words, in the entire life of Jesus. If this is so, why do we spend so little time reading, meditating, and practicing this gospel? Why do we hear so many messages, slogans, and teachings before hearing the simple words? The simple words of Jesus. Who do you say that I am? Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. May God bless you. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, one of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to the Lord, who hears the prayer of all in our needs. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that all clergy may be led by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the truth with courage and conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who do not yet believe or have disdain for the church open their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. That during this time leading up to the election, we pray that you protect us from turning our neighbors into enemies. Grant us instead the heart of Jesus so, so that we might love each other as you love all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. That we end the culture of violence in our country and for tolerance and civility within our political discussions. Let us pray to the Lord. That this community of faith may be guided by the gospel message in our efforts to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who search for meaning will find wisdom and knowledge in God who knows all things. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick and distressed especially Father Fernando, will be relieved in their suffering by your grace. Let us pray to the Lord. For the people of the parish for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, particularly Rosa Siano de Amiata and Laurel Hansen, will walk with God. Let us pray to the Lord that in this moment of silence, silent prayer, the Lord hears our intentions and the intentions of the people around us. I pray for Deacon Jim Bishop. May God touch him with his healing power and give him a happy, holy death. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, you are just and compassionate to all. Hear the prayers of your followers gathered today and help us to take up our cross in faith with you. We ask this to Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his future. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. For Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Señor mío, Dios mío. Tú eres mi Dios, sí, eres mi Señor. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Señor mío, Dios mío. Tú eres mi Dios y eres mi Señor. The mystery of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of blood of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, the auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may marry to be heirs to eternal life. And I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Who do you say that I am? Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Jesus. 
gave me, lifted me up and held me to your side. Sweet Redeemer, I surrender all I am to you. Sweet Those taking the Eucharist to our brothers and sisters. Please take Jesus to them and pray with them. And my God bless your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stop by the table in the narthex for information about Taste of the Americas. Please add conversations with clergy Wednesday night, September 18th to your calendar. The topic is Lord, teach us to pray. Teens, remember that mission trip 2025 deposits are due on September 22nd. There is coffee and donuts in the social hall today. Day widow helping others will be selling tickets for the dinner for the deceased spouses, which will take place on September 26, following the evening mass. We will have a minute of adoration after Mass. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, save him.
Say now that you are too young.